Hello, and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here, back in the consolidation, going to be turning around and pulling out a new stack, or <clears throat> an added to stack, excuse me. So we did turn around and double the size of the Tier 2 stack, and then we threw a way car on there on the back, so that we have some idea of where the back of the train is all the time. All right, we got wood, we got water, we're warmed up, we are ready to go. <clears throat> We're gonna pull this one out of the station. Everything should clear our way out there. Make sure we have everything attached. Looking good. Consolidation's been doing its job rather well. Zero complaints with this thing. Picked up the speed and the hauling, that's for sure. <clears throat> Looks good. <clears throat> now it's time to see if our rail out to the uh, out to the new industries is going to work with the new plan here. This way we can grab uh, some of the rails and some of the raw iron is the idea so that the uh, smelter is turning out both products. That was the kind of the idea with adding the Adding the cars so we could pick up a little bit of both and then where they uh, both run into the same industry kind of a rail run. So we're going to go that route. Just see how well it all works is kind of what this is going to be about. Did turn around and move one of the other industries, the cattle farm. It's the cattle farm and the wheat farm kind of like those tied together so we'll see that coming up that is the one industry that did move and then turn around and still trying to figure out the um, home for the gold stuff in here is also something we're working on not in yet but should be coming soon they did not uh, when they put the industries of farm chains on this one, just not the, uh, not the gold, so. All right, let's see if we can get a little more speed out of this through this area. We shouldn't run into any problems here. Pull it a little longer trades to make sure everything's going all good there. Right through the trees, of course. Looks like we're probably going to run into nightfall here. We do not have to worry about the speed out here much with this one. I have noticed this loco can pretty much just run full out on the rails. At least so far. Haven't run into any problems. I have to admit, this uh, cook consolidation actually hugs the rails pretty well. I don't have a lot of complaints about it. Of course, as I say that, it'll probably come flying off, but I haven't had any problems with it, so just able to run it, you know? Which is nice. Even coming down the hill, been barreling down this hill 30 miles an hour, it's uh, 30, 40 miles an hour in some cases, no problem. Hopefully we can get up the hill with this much weight. That's going to be the biggest question mark, you know. I wasn't even sure about adding the weight car, but hopefully it gets it done. It's not like the consolidation is, you know, it's got the attractive effort to get most of it done. There we get a good look at the sundown. Yeah, you got to give it credit right there. Bam. That's pretty good. Looking good. Still never ceases to amaze me that they're just tied to the game just looks really good. Yeah, I'm gonna go nuts on this series. I gotta really slow it out much, but we're not gonna totally go crazy on that thing. This turn either on the bridge, that's one that I'm not totally 
comfortable run full out. That's why I say you can almost run full out everywhere. Not totally comfortable everywhere. And that's probably more me than the loco. The loco will probably be fine. This loco really does seem to stick pretty well to the tracks. And then it's got nice brakes, so if you do have to slow down, like it gets the job done quick. Really nice sun sunset shots right there. Alright, now let's get on it. See that we get up the hill. Yeah, it seems like it's chugging off. No problems there. That's not bad. I don't know if we can get down on this a little bit more. Yeah, still moving up 20 miles an hour. Climbing. I don't know if we're going to get out of the valley before the sun's... sun is going to start going down and when nightfall comes, the night is going to come quick. That's for sure, because the clock is going to run into overdrive. The nighttime, a lot. I think it's still on the stock 7.5 minutes, so the nighttime is gonna go quick. That's for sure. This is still the first day of the game, so we have not hit on the 10 hour, on the 10 hour mark. We still have not gone through one day, so there you go. Slamming it out. will be the 10 hour mark pretty much when that drops uh, the play and then the night obviously is going to be the seven and a half minutes and then the way this runs back into the mountain I do have to say I like the way this runs up the edge of the mountain I don't even mind the sky bridge part there because that's not too crazy. I mean, it's not really a sky bridge, it's just a legit tall bridge, I guess. It's not that long, so it doesn't bother me. The one bridge still going up this side, I think, is going to come out. I just have not completely worked that out yet. I think I got a theory for making it work, but. I haven't tried it yet, but trying to get the rest of it run. So that we can keep moving along. A couple more industries to lay down and things to get moving. And a lot going on. So, trying to do. Oh, where are we at with the switch? Oh, and there we're good. Yeah, we're good. Hauling through. Not gonna be slowing down much here. A little bit, well, actually, after we get through the industry, we will have to slow down a little bit. I don't think this turn is definitely not certified for high speed, I don't think. This is where you're supposed to be kind of chilling for the industry one way or another. So. Get around here, and then we can open her back up. You have to say, I really like the uh, telegraph booth up there. It's just you, so many times you get this little cool shot of the little shed in the background. It's just one of those things, you know. Every once in a while, uh, everybody's got them on the railroad. That every once in a while, you just get that cool shot. You got the thing in the spot where it's like, yeah, it shows up just in the background where you want it every once in a while. It's kind of nice. That little shed, that's it for me, that telegraph booth. Here we go, getting into nightfall. We may have to actually turn on a light up here, which this would be a horrible spot, but... Let's see if we can get moving. 
At least make it up the hill. I doubt it. It's getting dark. It's kind of cool. So one thing with this bridge, as much as I don't really like how high and straight it is, like you do get these really cool shots of the locos and stuff off in the distance. So it's kind of fun to have sky bridges every now and again, I guess. Just for the view. Scenic Railroad. There's nothing wrong with that either. And at least it gets you up the hill in a hurry. Yeah, that's the one nice thing with this run. Is that it really gets it it gets it done. Without having to dilly dally too much. Have to see because this one's going to be interesting when we get it down because we didn't put a bypass down where the rails connect. So, swinging this out there, we're either going to have to run it around all the way in a donut, take it down the hill backwards, I guess they don't really want to take this one down the hill backwards. We could always run it into the industry backwards. So it all depends on if we're in a hurry we can run it we'll probably just run it into the industry backwards otherwise we could turn it around in the big loop down there where everything comes together but this layout was not really set up for this to go running down where it actually has to go well, of course the track's not done yet so there you go you know but we could put in a bypass down there, I suppose, at the bottom of the hill, but that's going to make the track messy down there. Not too sure. Like, on approach, I want to take out that tree, but then once you get up here, it's really not close, so it doesn't need to go anywhere. What are those? All right. sitting on this one. Should have to chill as we cruise through the loopy. It's not a loop, but the sidestep shuffle, if you will. Definitely don't need to go blazing through here at speed. Comes out nice and smooth with the links, I gotta say, but you know, still not something you need to slam the train through at great speed, I don't think. Probably not gonna like it. But it all sinks through there easy enough. Good, 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 good. Just gonna pick off a couple of rails so that it keeps moving. Most of this we want to be raw iron. So we're gonna burn more of that out at the ironworks there than we are worried about the. Um, you probably don't want to go. Are you gonna at least go? Okay. Just so we get a little bit off there, I want a balanced use although i don't think we're full over on the other side of things but whatever as it fills this side i think this side's full no this side isn't even full all right well whatever we don't need to waste a ton then we are going to take some rails out because i want to get some down to the coal mine too that way we can just get the rest of the stuff into the coal mine get that all moving but most of this train we do want to be full of the uh raw iron so we will throw oh, just a, probably a car full of rails here should be enough. We do one car of rails. I guess the rails had to be full. So those rails that were full raw iron was not. Alright, shut that off. 
Good enough there. Nice thing is the rest of this will all load nice and quick. Still cannot wait for the update and the uh, loading cameras. Going to be a huge, huge quality of life one there. I think we'll just take the one down. What's it hold? Like 60 or something, you know? So if we had two, it's probably better, but whatever. We are not full of raw iron. That's the thing. And I want more raw iron. I know that. We need a lot of raw iron nowadays. Especially if we're going to add in the gold industries. Because the gold industries burn raw iron like crazy. All the steel pipe you go through. Or no, that's if you have the dredge. What do we go through with that? What is it? Rails? Might be rails. It's rails. So we'll be these. We'll be using these at the gold. That's right. Because if we're going to put the gold mine in and not the gold dredge. Not sure, I guess. We can put in the gold dredge or the gold mine. Do have a decent spot for the gold mine. So I was thinking the gold mine. But then maybe we should put in both. I don't even know. I don't know if people are putting in both. One, two. Kind of interesting going back and adding all this stuff to the uh, old map. Or older maps. I find a lot more to do than we used to have, that's for sure. The game has come a long way. Ooh, that's, I don't know. That's going to work. Are you going to work? Well, if we actually get away with this. That would be great. Bam. Just going to make it go. That's nice. Awesome. Heck yeah. We'll totally take it. Get some lights on this thing. Let me know where the bag of it is. Cool. Probably the wrong color. But that's fine. I don't think we need them there. We got them all the way on the back. And we might as well turn this bad boy on. All right. Yeah. That's working out. Give me the logo. I don't want to jump up. Whoa. All right. There we go. Lot better visibility. That's now a thing. All right, bang, bang, and we'll roll that out. Vent a little steam. Clean up the cylinders. That's gonna auto flip, so we are not gonna worry about it. That's another one. Huge quality of life that was. Even with the, you know, you can flip them on the map. The uh, the auto flip is definitely a nice feature. Has saved many a train from overturning. <laughs> That's right, at least on my railroads. I can say that. Back in the day, that used to be like the number one thing. Man, you were always kicking train because it was like, oops, wrong direction. That was rough. All right, got a nice little glow back there. We can tell what's going on, so if we derail or anything else, probably don't need to be pulling this at breakneck power. What did we say last time? Uh, seven. Oh, it's all gonna change because the weight's different. This is not gonna be like set it at four percent. Not worry about it. Empty the opera cars, you can set it like 7% and just cruise down this and it'll just sit at whatever speed you set the 7% brake at. So, this maybe we're gonna get lucky with somewhere around 15, be able to do the same thing. And it'll kind of just ride out. You know, 20 is probably a little faster this turn coming up, so we'll have to dish a little bit of speed, but we 
looks like 15% break is going to be what we need to sit. We definitely do not want to dump the train now that it's loaded. That would be a different animal. We have to pick that up. Nice run into the sunset there, though. I have to say. Go a touch of the brake. Now that should get us around the corner, all right. And we'll just let the weight of the train accelerate us again there. I don't think we'll Rebo put on too much. In fact, we're out of wood. That's fine. We're gonna be rolling downhill most of the way from here. I suppose we could actually turn around Turn the train around right here, and we only got to run to the bottom of the hill backwards. I don't know about running this train backwards in the dark, or was starting to be dark. That's probably not a good plan for the first run with the train to do it in reverse down the grade. So I think we'll just probably roll it out. We'll probably just let it roll out. Although everything's nice and chill. A lot of ways to do this because we could just turn it around right here. Gas break, gas break, horrible. We've got enough weight behind us at this point, we don't need to get nuts. Unless we want to pick it up. more I don't want to dump trains when they're full versus when they're empty not that we lose the load but it's like you know the things everything's heavier and it just goes faster with no control so you end up picking up bigger messes I think generally speaking and anytime we get over four cars I really don't like to have to pick up the train anymore so I'd rather go a little more chill and not dump the train at the switches so that this is just wide over didn't do that should have done that all right let's get settled this would not be the place to dump the train certain catastrophe for the locomotive and engineer if you come off of the rail there that's probably a certainty. All right, everything looking good, running smooth. No worries. So that's cool. This part I know we can pick up a little bit of speed and run on pretty well. Not too much to worry about here. Quite a bit more weight back there. Than the uh, hoppers, that's for sure. The last thing I brought down from here was four empty hoppers, and that was more of a hot rod run. But you get away with it, you know? Well, this local idea, I have to say, I'm impressed with the braking power on on the cook consolidation really gives you a sense of you know control of the train this one is not like ooh 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 set the brakes and hope 
You go with light brakes, you get light brakes. You need a lot of brake, you give it a lot of brake, and you're good. It's all there. So, I have to say, I do like the braking profile on this loco. Alright, now let's see if we can get this thing around the way. coming up. Oh, we can go fishing. See all the way through the water. That's nice. at night so okay we'll just run it around we'll run it around it'll get turned around and we'll go in there the right way we'll run around on the service loop that should work i think that'll work first first run you know so you can figure it out yeah see we should have attached over there then this would just be easier but then too kind of trying to take this one with a minimal with a minimal list or a you know much less track not trying to over go crazy i guess with the track on this is the is the kind of the layout theory so simple keep everything just on routes and then have the yard so kind of stuck working inside of the routes and this we stretch this way out so it's gonna be a little bit longer than it would have normally been planned, that's for sure. But see, that's what I say, too. If you're in an absolute hurry, I could have just reversed it right back there and run it in backwards. But this one, I guess I'd rather see it going in there forward than run it in there backwards. Run it in there backwards doesn't seem to... I don't get to see it. I want to see how it goes in there the first time the right way, I guess. That, that, map, flip view. Better throw some more wood in this thing. Never did that. Never did that the whole way down. So now it's dead, right? Totally dead? Totally dead. Yeah, we got nothing. We just wasted it all sliding back. Not enough juice. That's horrible. Alright, give us time to go back and check on our train. That's what that does. Doot doot. It's not going to matter whether we have red lights or white lights back here. We're not going to have enough light to see, I don't think. Oh, nope. Not a chance. This train is coming down the rails that way, so watch out. Doot doot. No rear facing light on this one, which is a bit of a bit of a disappointment for the uh, higher end loco, I guess. Headlight works good though. 
can't get playing. I suppose this thing would probably take off, but I don't know. If we actually have... No, we're not set to go. Alright, we're fine. A little bit more on the heat. Let's just stoke the heck out of this thing. There we go. Check where we're at on the old water situation. About a third. This one does burn a fair amount of water. Not that we filled it up yet, but it is burning a fair amount of water. Have recently put water in it. Not yet. What do we need? 210 or something, I think, on the heat there. Before we're going to really start going. So we got a little bit. That's totally my fault. I said it too. Needed to put wood in it on the way down, and then I was too busy watching the. Watching it not wreck for it to turn around. Shouldn't have been. Shouldn't have been worried about it. Been running fine. Loco's low on steam. Yeah, no doubt. Loco's totally out of steam, bro. Not low. There we go. We're about to start cooking. Is it done yet? And bam, now we're climbing. Not enough to move. We'll let it get up to like 75 on the boiler or something before we try to start moving. I don't think she's going to move much under that. But I, we're going to start moving. <laughs> Oh, probably not worth it. Just climb it faster without trying to drain it. Alright, here we go. Then we're just going to punch it. For it! As soon as we hit 75, we're going to just mash. Mash the gas! Alright, let's get what we can get. No rear headlight. Would be nice if we get an option like on the back of the way cars that we could turn around and throw like a big headlight or something on the back of the way cars. That would not be sad. I don't know if they did that, but I would not be sad. If they didn't do it, they should have. I'm sure they have lighted cars that had light back there. Although I don't know. I don't know how much they would have ran backwards in the dark. Who knows? Probably it's all on rails, so they know how fast they gotta go and where, you know? I sadly cannot say that, because I've never run this portion of the rail in reverse. Though it's generally smooth enough forward that I guess I'm not too, too worried about it when it comes to running it in reverse. I'm running through the mudlands. Which, this was a cool add to the game, especially seeing some different kind of terrain in the Mudlands. It's kind of nice. I know the first time through it, I bridged everything through it because I just thought it looked better. But, this is just bridge for part of it. Though I do like the way the bridge looks running through the mud. Makes it look kind of cool. Just another fun texture in the map. Alright. Let's run the fastest when we know the turn's coming up. That probably makes the most sense. Look out. There's a straight up lunatic train coming through. to run in forward. But now we're going to get to run in there the right way. So, here we go. Bam. Bam wouldn't have been so bad if we didn't run out of steam. That was actually engineer fireman's fault. Why did I do that? I know why I did that. Because I meant to do this. Alright, we should be good. Yeah, we're good. Double check, make sure we don't run off the dead ends. This is not going to be a winner. If we do that. Alright. 
Now the question is, did we get everything out on this rail? All the trees, all the rest of it. The nice part is we get to check it in the dark. So that's good. All right. Caboose is still back there. Now our lights are totally all wrong. By everybody's book. That's fine. Be able to run in most of this at pretty high speed, I would think. Where is there a switch up here? Of course, it's the wrong way. I believe that's the side we need to be on. We will find out shortly. This all laid in pretty easy on the last bid, there it was nothing. Two for one build with the industry setup out here. Not a bad way to go. Saves on track. Really didn't take a lot of track, you know. That's like I said, that's kind of been the goal with this layout is to just keep track laying to a minimum. So we're not doing a lot of extra holding rails or any of the rest of that. Again, it's all just kind of in the yard. You're either out on the road or you're in the yard. Unloading at night, always my fate. Nice thing is with these, they unload very fast. Car is on the way. All right, moving that along. Dropping that. We might actually get the whole thing on a horribly planned roll. <laughs> we'll just have to see, though. Who knows? You can always go, oh, we got it, and then still not get it. We might not get this last car. It's really close. Come on. At least this should actually pay okay. I guess I don't know. By the time about that weight car, probably didn't actually have a lot of cash left. There we go. Turn you off. We'll leave you on because that's about to be empty. There we go, trying to get it fast. And then we're gonna swing that over and see if we can get that dropped off too. Because we might as well. Step on the power there, let her run. At the same, I'm kind of amazed that the nighttime is, seems like it's hanging around much longer than I thought it would. I should look up at the starry sky there. No, no Aurora in Lake Valley. It'd be kind of cool if they added like some shooting stars or something every once in a while in the sky on on the other maps or some kind of night sky feature. The starry sky here is cool, but it would be neat if there was some other standy standalone night feature other than like just the uh, Aurora. On Aurora Falls, the Aurora Borealis. On Aurora Falls. Though, I mean, I get it, it's fitting, but it'd be kind of cool if there were like shooting stars through the desert or something on this one. Although, we have the new map coming, so hopefully, maybe we got some special nighttime features in that one, you know, who knows? Looking forward to seeing that. No, the new map should be interesting. It's been said that it should be a little easier to lay track on, so. 
open spaces is what I'm thinking, is what, you know, you would think, I guess, or tend to think when they say something like that, that it'll be easier to lay track on and stuff. It's a nice open expanse. Always cool for opening up the options of things to do. This we're just going to try to bring in here. We'll just try to park this one. Know a lot of talk about people wanting a light prop of some sorts, which I'm sure that's a little more of a difficult process, but having a light source, like if the lanterns that are props, we could drop down and have a little light. You know, a lot of people, I think, looking forward to something like that. You see, at night drops like this, you'd have a way to do something. And there we go, picking up a little bit of money in the process of the whole load. So, moving things along after getting the tier two cars sets us up for, uh, you know, coal. Now we can run around some wood. We got some more tier two runs we can now do. So, you know, we can get the coal going and then get the ironworks going is going to be the goal there. But I think for today, we're definitely going to call that one a win. Say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.